Hey YouTube, just want to do a little video on the Yankee Hill 556 quick detach uh, suppressor. Um, I've had this suppressor since uh, earlier this year, May. Um, I don't know if they've uh, changed their packing material or not, but this is how it came. It's how mine came. A little sleeve, their little marketing sleeve. Uh, suppressor did come in bubble wrap, but I've long since thrown that away. Um, those are the owner's manual. The reason why I went with this suppressor uh, was for two reasons. Uh, price, overall cost, and it came with the mount. Um, this, as far as I've been able to find, this is one of the lowest cost uh, 5.56 rifle suppressors that you can find. And it comes with the mount, which from what I can tell, a lot of manufacturers aren't doing. Um, they leave it up to you because there's just so many different options that they have. Um, it is uh, 1.5 inches wide. 6.8 inches long and uh, I haven't actually measured it but Yankee Hill specs it out that the suppressor when mounted to your rifle or pistol will only add uh, 4.6 inches in length overall length uh, the mount itself is uh, uh, 2.66 inches long so it is long enough to pin and weld on a uh, 14 inch barrel to bring it to that legal 16 inch uh, length. Uh, it is a uh, uh, chromoly steel uh, body, inconel baffles, and it's rated for uh, 35 decibels of noise reduction. For, uh, from what I understand, that's kind of, everybody says it's on the high side. I haven't seen any actual comparison videos or actual testing to either prove or um, disprove that that's the kind of uh, noise reduction you get. Um, put it into perspective, um, I would compare this suppressed to a 22 long rifle unsuppressed. That's kind of the best uh, comparison I can get to you. So it meets, it does everything I needed to do. Uh, it is their Q uh, quick detach suppressor, quick attach, either way, it's not really quick to attach. Um, threads on, it has a ratcheting style locking mechanism, so you just crank it down until it stops and it's not going to go anywhere. Um, I have uh, seen on some of the forums where people kind of bash this mounting system saying that it sucks and it's ugly. Well, it is kind of ugly, I'll give them that, with this big, huge collar right here. But as far as I'm concerned, this mount is, the suppressor's not going anywhere once it's ratcheted down. Um, I've shot it continuously, a couple hundred rounds through it, and it hasn't, it hasn't loosened up at all. Uh, It indexes, I don't know if you can pick it up, this, the, the mount itself has these little uh, detents, uh, there's four of them all the way around uh, the mount, and they index in these little uh, notches, and this collar is uh, spring-loaded, so when you, when you ratchet, when you twist down the, the suppressor, thread it on, it uh, gets pushed down, and the spring pushes back, which pushes... Um, puts pressure on these detents into these notches so it locks up tight. It, <clears throat> it's not going to go anywhere. Um, it is uh, full auto rated so you lucky guys with uh, transferable machine guns um, you'd be good to go on those. Um, it is rated for um, Yankee Hill specs it for a ten and a half inch barrel I'm sure it'd be fine on anything lower, seven inch barrel, but yeah, that's just what they what they spec out. Um, it is 
they recommend that you don't run it wet um, due to overpressure, but again, I'm sure it'd be fine. Um, of course, you might not want to do that anyways because it is a chrome ollie body, and if you don't get it dried out, it will begin to uh, corrode and rust out um, the inside. It is um, 20 inches in, in uh, weight. I've done some research and uh, the Silencer Co, the Saker, and the AEC M4000, I believe it's the M4000, they come in at 18.5 ounces. So this isn't, you know, a huge difference in weight, uh, difference in weight between um, AEC or um, the Silencer Co. So if you're thinking about weight, if saving, you know, an ounce and a half is worth that extra few hundred bucks um, over this for you that's fine that's uh, that's your choice um, but for me is when it came to cost and all that um, I went ahead and went with this this won't be my only suppressor I'm looking into a spec war uh, 762 um, with the Yankee Hills their mounts um, their 762 mount is compatible, um, or their 762 suppressor is compatible with their 556 mount. So you can you can get a a, a 30 caliber Yankee Hill um, Phantom and put it on your your 556 rifle on the same mount. You don't have to put a 30 caliber mount on there. Uh, the only difference is is uh, the 30 cal mount is longer than the the 556 so that keeps you from being able to put uh, a 556 can on the 762 um, from what I understand uh, Yankee Hills kind of changed their mounting system so I don't know it's kind of confusing to me I haven't really checked into it all that much but they have changed um, their mounts up a little bit so that may not be the case anymore as far as uh, reverse compatibility between um, the 30 caliber can and the 556 mount um, you'll have to check into that um, as far as um, I'm concerned this is an excellent suppressor for the price if you're looking to get into one and feel like waiting that waiting period to get your stamp back um, yeah, you'll be good to go I think you'll really be happy with it. Um, that's pretty much all I can all I can give on a tabletop review. Um, if there's anything I'm forgetting, I'm sure I'll put them in, put some captions in as I'm editing the video. Uh, I will be doing um, a video at the range shooting the suppressor live fire, um, so you can get an idea. Uh, what it sounds like uh, suppressed versus unsuppressed um, I'll get that up as soon as I get out to the range and uh, get some time out there so uh, thanks for watching uh, please like um, and subscribe to the channel I'm gonna I got some more reviews coming up got some cool so projects yeah, thanks for watching <laughs>